there. There is a little bit of an echo, so just do your best to work with me, okay? Yeah. Okay. Isaac. Check in your box. In your box at all. Why don't you go check your box? Rose. Either one. I don't know. Something to glue with this. Um, Maddie. When Isaac's done. Okay. All right, course, your friends. We are going to start math today, which is all favorite subject number. Yay! We are going to learn something very, very important. We are going to talk about telling time. When do we tell time? Why would you need to tell time? Go ahead and talk with your dance partner about those two Soccer games that you need to look at a clock. What else might you? Me? If you need to go to the bathroom in our classroom to sign out, right? What else, Isaac? If you're going on a vacation, like how long until we leave, maybe, right? You might count down. Adam? Almost any time you might need to, right? If something's coming up. Monica? Um, I got it. Lucy? Just check the clock if you want to know the time. Stay with the time. Yeah. If I just, just look at a clock, do I just go, yep, that's the time it is. It's 7 o'clock. No, it's not. Okay. Why would we need to tell the time? Why would we need to tell time? What do you think, Thomas? So we know when school is over. So we can know when school is done, right? Everyone's at a certain time. What else? Could you hear me? Maybe you want to know what time a game is done at, so you can tell mom or dad to come pick you up, right? Bennett? So you're not late. So you're not late to things, right? Anybody's parents always late? <laughs> Anybody's parents never late, and they're always like, we have to be here right at this time? Some people are. Well, now, fourth grade friends, but but about them. You are going to be able to help them tell time. Today, we're going to practice telling time on an analog clock. Have you ever heard that word before? Yes. An analog clock. It's what our clocks look like. The circle clocks with the numbers are called analog clocks. Can you say that with me? Analog clock. Show me a circle and go analog clock. Analog One more time. Analog clock. Analog clock. I have a video to start. We're going to do some work in our book, notebook. We're going to do a worksheet practice, and then you'll have homework. Okay, so let's get started. Homework, hooray! I got a video about telling time. Thank you. 
come right back. And then one is holding you reach for that many hand in. All right, let's go five five until we get there. Five, five ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49.
and take a look at the word minute. Which one is shorter? Oh, hour is, short. oh, is short and minute is long. long. So the hour hand is short. Let's draw an hour hand between the two and the three. Remember, you want to start on your dot and go out so it's short. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, just kind of eyeballing it out. Okay, then get a blue coloring supply out. Now we are going to draw our minute hand. Now remind me, the minute hand is long or short? Short. I mean long. 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 So to do this, we almost want it to touch the number or the tape. But we don't want it to go all the way outside of our cup. So let's draw it. Hmm. Read two spots after the four. Two spots after the four. That's okay, but too long. We're still learning. I remember like draw on it. It's like. Yeah, it's a, it's a now, in case you are forgetting how to do this, when you're doing your worksheets, that's why we put these in your notebook, so you can look back and try and problem solve on your own. So, first we need to figure out the hour. We're going to look at the shorthand, and we're going to find the number it is on or that it just passed. So what is our hour? What's our hour? Me? Two. Two, yep, it's just past the two, and it's not to the three. So down here on this other clock, we're going to put the hour in front, underneath the pink word hour. So we know it's two. Now, let's read the directions for how to find the minutes. We're going to look at the long hand. You're going to start all the way up here at the 12, and you're going to count by fives, until we get there to the closest number and then by one. So how many minutes is this? How many minutes do we have? What do you got? Adam, what do you get? I think it's 22 minutes. 22 minutes, so we put our 22 minutes down here. Now we can read our time. It is 2.22. So well, this kind of clock was called what? Digital. Digital. What was this circle clock, remember? Analog. Analog. One more time, show me. Analog. You try. Analog. Analog. This clock down here is called a digital. Try that with me. Digital. One more time. Digital. Okay. Digital clock. Are the easy ones to read. Why do you think di most well, people think digital clocks are easier? Daddy, what do you think? It's probably because like you can just like see it. You don't have to like count. I can find out. Yeah. Do you agree with Maddie? Yeah. Yeah. You can just see the numbers and we can count, right? But up here, I have to think a little harder. Which one do you think is the old one? Yeah. I like analog clocks because I like my grandma a little harder. I like to challenge. Okay. So, down here at the bottom, we have two boxes on the AM and two boxes on the PM. So, let's look at the 7 AM. What's something you might do at 7 AM? I think it's 7 AM. Would you eat dinner? No. No. Christian, what do you think? You might get ready. Can I say wake up? So I might put, but, 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 I might put get ready, because that's what I do at 7 a.m. Or I might put drive in the car. I might be driving. Put your activity. What do you usually do at 7 a.m.? Go ahead and put that in the box. I get ready. I just get ready. All right, let's pretend it's a school day and it's 1045. What would we be doing on a school day? Do you know? What would we 
you do on a school day at 10.45? Ryan? Oh, what is specifically are we doing? Micah? We're doing recess. So now I'm going to put recess in that box. Wait, how do you, I can't really see. R-E-C-E-S-S. -S. Remember, is this a spelling test? No. Yeah. no. Recess. Okay, then I know it. Recess. 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 Now, do you know what the shift in time from a.m. to p.m. is? When does it oh. switch? There's a certain time. Do you know, Christian? Yeah, it's at 12. It's at 12. Specifically, we might call it midday, or you might hear noon. Have you ever heard noon before? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. yeah. So noon. So after, as soon as Okay, sorry about the glitch. Okay. What if it's 11.59 when I put a.m. or p.m.? We are finishing reading our story. Is it a.m. or p.m.? P.m. A.m. What happens is at 12.01? Zach? Yeah. It's p.m. So let's look at 2.15 on a school day. What might we be doing at 2.15? Elijah? Nah. We, what? Huh? We'd be leaving. Yeah. Oh, we'd be leaving. We'd be leaving. So you might say, go home. And Mrs. Wells says, I have to stay longer. I'd be on my bus. You might say, stay at school. You might say, late bus. You might say, wait for car. You might say, wait for car. Something. All right. Now let's fast forward in our day. It's 8 p.m. What are you doing at 8 p.m.? Rose, what are you doing? I'm in bed reading or sleeping. You know what Mrs. Wells is too? I'm in bed at 8 p.m. Anybody else? Anybody doing anything different at 8 p.m.? Do you know how 
how long 15 minutes is? It sounds so weird, but it's half of a half of a half. Half of a half. You know what we call a half of a half? Uh, a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. You know what we call a half of a half? A quarter. A quarter. So we're going to put one quarter or one fourth of an hour. Whoops. Yeah, I was going to write quarter. Quarter. We're going to see why they call it a quarter in a minute. Over here, though, it says blank clock. What kind of clock is this? What kind of clock is this? Do you remember the name for this clock, Monica? Analog. And we spell that A N A L O G. An analog clock. Wait, Anna Log. Anna Log. Oh, that's like Alright. Then down here, we have four clocks, don't we? What we're gonna do is fill in how many minutes these mean. And then we are gonna color the clock to show where that happens. Okay? So I'm gonna put green for my first one. Hold on, sorry. Never mind, nothing important. I thought it was Mrs. Roach. It's not. All right, so quarter after. Does anyone know how many minutes quarter after means? I'll give you a hint. After means after the start of a new hour. So think back to what quarter worked with. What do you think, Holly? Um, like 15 minutes after the hour. So we're going to go ahead and color in our clock to where it would show the 15 minutes. We're going to keep our green handy because we're going to use it in a moment. Or whatever color you use it. I was like, what? So we know quarter after is 15 minutes. Pick a different color. I'm gonna do blue. For this next one, I want to know how much half half means. So think half past the hour. How many minutes might that be? Use up here as a cheat sheet to help you. But what half past mean? What do you think, Bennett? Thirty minutes. So how much of our clock should we color in this time? Half, half of it. Half of it. So draw a line from 12 to 6. And does it matter which half you color? Yes. Which half should you color? Nate? The right half. The right half because we start 0, 1, 2, right? And go around. You want to color in that right half. Yeah, you color in the That's Am I going too fast? No. no. Okay, I thought I was going at a good speed, but I just want to take it. All right, I'm going to pick red next for my next one. Okay. We did quarter after already, and we said that was worth 15 minutes. Half past was 30. If it's quarter to the hour, how many minutes is that worth, do you think? You see a pattern yet, Peter? 45. How did you pick 45? Because it's out of 15, right? So I know that quarter past means, the quarter to the hour, sorry, means 45 minutes have gone by. So I should have almost like a little Pac Man that is not colored in. Like a pack that's like, oh dang it, I did it on this. Like, that's one high-tempo type. All right, for our last one, I know the color, so I'm just going to do black. How long? How long is one hour? You know how long that is? Levi? 60 minutes. So now we're coloring our entire clock. And now, I want to color in my entire clock. I'm going to try and do it a little lighter so I can still see the numbers. Do you know what happens if, like, let's say I've got my
the clocks change yeah. and it's like 11 59 midnight and it's 12 zero zero. I remember okay. Um, I sat right in front of the clock and watched it for an hour. I bet that was mobile. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'm going to erase this. Why would you do that? Why did you sit on a clock? Oh, I don't know. Right. Let's put it up. Um, you might want to keep this notebook handy. But it takes up a lot of space on your desk like this, doesn't it? Yeah. So for this, work time, I might close or open it, but close it. Does that make sense? Yes. I keep it so I can see my pages, but they're folded like our packets were for, for uh, purposes. Okay? What we are going to do next is we're going to have some classroom work time. So I'm going to show you our next page. We're going to have a class work meeting. I'll show you it in a moment. You're going to keep it out when you're done. Then we're going to review it together soon. We're going to go over it really quickly. If you don't finish the whole worksheet in the time, is that okay? Yes. Yes, this is okay. This won't be catch up work. But does that mean you sit there and stare up in the space? Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Okay, don't just sit there and go, ah, we're going to go over this together anyway. I don't need to try. You need to try your best because it's only going to help you. Okay? So we're going to give you that. You'll work on it. If you finish early, keep it out and pick an early finisher. You guys have been doing a real, guys and girls have been doing a really good job making smart choices with early finishers. Who can tell Nate what an early finisher is? I should have a lot of hands. I hope so. Molly, can you tell Nate what an early finisher is? If you like finish, then there's different choices you could do. What's something you could do if you finish early? Thomas? You could read. Lily? You could color. You could color. Lizzie? You could work on your cursive if you didn't finish it. You could work on your cursive from this morning. Dennis? Catch up work you may have. Maddie? You could do your idea book after you have finished your work. Okay? And you're going to show good growth mindset and grit, right? Working on hard things for me during this time. Micah. Nope. Remember over there I wrote me at I's, U's, T's, and W's. I got four letters. Monica. Uh, at that early finish your time, you guys. Okay? So this is what our page is going to look like, fourth grade friends, on the board. All you have to do is it reminds you how to tell time up top. There are clocks on this side. You have to tell the time for this page. On the other side, it looks a lot like it, but you'll notice it's the back side because the clock is kind of shaded. Do you see that? On this one, you might want to reach to appear because it tells you different times to say things. Like that page we just did where we talked about quarter past quarter two, half past. Some of these, you could use a different name. Like I could say, for example, on this one, I could say, let's say, what is, that would be 10, 15, right? You agree with me? It goes back to the last number, 10, and then I count 5, 10, 15. I could say 10, 15. I don't need to write this down. But I want to think in my head, what's another way I could say 10, 15? Hmm, I might get my notebook page out. And I'm going to look at that page that talked about those different ways. Which one meant 15 minutes? Oh, yeah, quarter after. 
So I might want to say quarter after my hour. So quarter after 10. Do you see how that one kind of switches it? Okay. So you need to write the digital time for each analog clock on the front and on the back. Okay. Uh, Maddie. So you still need to write the digital time, oh, and you just got to try and think. It's like a challenge mode. Okay. Can you think of what the other time is? And my second question is, are we going to, can we like work around the room? You can work by your desk spot on the floor, but unfortunately we can't go all over the room. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of like we did for silent reading this morning. You can work by your desk, but you can't work around the room. All right, so I will keep the directions up here. Okay. Questions you have for Mrs. Wells? Please, Lily. Allow me to help pass that out. I would love for you to help me pass these out. Thank you. When Lily gives you your paper, what's the first thing you write on top? You don't need to cut this out. This is not homework. Remember, this is our class work. Normally, we do practice problems in our book, but we don't have this in our book. But if you don't finish it, Thank you. 
Remember, you find your outer shirt and then your minute.
give you about two more minutes, my friends, who are still working. I see you put in a early finisher where you were working on a way and have your worksheet out. If you're not done, you can fill it in as we go. All right, let's look at this page first. This without the shaded clock. Without the shaded clock. Yes? Without the shaded clock. All right. Your first one. Oh, what did I do? All right. First one, you should have gotten 11, 10. Yes. Because it hooks back. I like to think of it as a little fish hook. It hooks back to the number for the hour. And then 10. Clear? Sure, if you want to put a star or a check mark, or if you just want to do nothing with it, I'm okay with that. This is just for you to review, okay? This next one should have been 7. 28. Okay, that My friends, make sure we're not reading because books are away, right, Mr. Marco? All right, the next one was tricky. Who thinks they know the time for the third one? This one was really tricky. Isaac? 154. It looks like it's two, but it's not quite because that hour hand is still in one. Is it quite? It's not quite on two, and the minute hand would need to be at the 12. Remember, the long one is minute. All right, this one. I got it right. You should have had three, 36. Three, 36. Three, 36. All right, I'm going to erase that because I can't. Let's go like this. I think I can. There we go. All right, get rid of the fish hook. All right, we did that rough. This one was tricky also. It hooks back to the 12, and it should be, was that 47? Yes. Yeah. 47, it's hard for me to tell my minutes. Correct. Uh, Perfect, thank you for looking over your work and correcting it with us. All right, this one, what did you get? Adam, what did you get for our next one? Um, 7.31. I agree with you. Yeah. All right, what about the next one? What did you get, Bennett? 9.18. Correct. Elijah? 5.51. 5.51. Five, 
51. What? Because which one is the shorthand? Oh, two. I understand. No, it's, it's 451. Why is it 451, Lizzie? Because um, it's. That's quite on five. It's, it's not quite on the five. So think, remember, which one did it just pass? Four. Yeah, I was just thinking like 51. That was my fault. See, I make mistakes too. I made the mistake at the first one. All right. What about this one down here, bottom row? Aiden, what did you get for that bottom one? Did you get that far? The bottom one, yeah. 621. It's correct. Yes. It just has the six. And then it's 21 or 620. I can't That's quite tell. 620 or 621. It's 621. Uh, what about this one? <laughs> what do you get? Peter, what do you get for this? 1041 is awesome. Yep. Two more. This one was tricky. Micah, what do you get for this one? Five, oh, two. Remember, you start up at the 12, then you count. And if it's not to a whole number yet, you count by ones. And the last one, Christian. Eight, 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 eleven. Eight, eleven. All right, let's take a look at the back side. All right. This one, I'm going to tell you the time, and I want to see if you can come up with the other way to say it. Does that make sense? I right. don't know how to say So this it. one should say 10, 15. How else can I say 10, 15? What do you think, um, Christian? Quarter after. Not quarter after? Or quarter after what? Quarter after... Quarter after 10, yep, quarter after my hour. This one is 9.30. How can I say 9.30 another way? You know, Maddie? Half past nine, yep, it's halfway past that nine. Good, all right, this one is 10.45. This one is tricky to say a different way. Do you know me? Quarter to 11, because it's only 15 minutes away from 11. This one was, one, no, 12, 1245. So if this was quarter to 11, how could I say this one a different way? This one was quarter to 11. This one, Lizzie, is quarter to one. Quarter to one, because it's almost to the one. All right, down here should be 6.30, because that hour hand would loop back to my six. How else can I say that, Brooke? Um, it's like the half past. Half past six, good. All right, we're gonna quickly go over one more. Let's do, let's do this one. This one is 1.15. How would I say that a different way? Holly, what do you think? How can I say this one a different way? Um, a quarter after one. Quarter after one. Nice job. All right, fourth grade friends, this is what we're going to do next. So normally, we will have this work in our book. Today, though, what I would like you to do is we're going to turn it in. After we turn it in, you're going to have this homework page on your desk, okay? I'm going to give you just about two minutes to get started on it. You probably won't finish it. I hope you don't finish it, okay? So here's your homework page. After you get called to turn, after you turn in your work, you can start working on this. Where should this go when you are all done? Or when, if we're trying to move on, where should it go, Alasia? In your star binder. Okay, so I will put those directions up here for you. Homework time. Put it in your star binder, done or not at the end. Why do you not want to put it in your ketchup folder? Why is that not a good choice for this one? Thomas? It's not like a worksheet, right? It's homework. Okay. 
So you can, can you? Is it due to have to have We will talk about that in a moment. Let me close out a Zoom and we can have that chat while you're working. Sound good? Okay. Um, Lindsay, is it about this? Um, yeah. Or I'm getting there. You can line up. Do you remember a waiter to turn stuff in? Can you point? Can you show me how more dinners would line up to put their stuff in? Go ahead, see if you can show me. And we will talk to you later. Bye.